Hey guys, it's Courtney here with Sycora Makeup. So you want to learn how to contour your face? Well stay tuned because I'm going to teach you how to do just that. Alright guys, so I have filled in my brows, put on some foundation and some concealer to get rid of the dark circles underneath my eyes and any imperfections. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into contouring. So I am using... NYX Highlighting and Contouring Pro Palette. So I'm going to go in with an angled um, blush brush. You can also use this for contouring. A lot of people do it. There's different brushes out there for contouring. It just depends on what you want. And I like to start off by chiseling out my cheekbones. Now how you do that is by starting at the very tip of your ear up here and basically drawing a diagonal line down almost to the corner of your mouth. Now you're not going to go as far as your mouth because obviously it's going to look funny but if you feel around you'll actually be able to feel your cheekbone. So mine is right here and you see how it is actually going kind of down in a line. You can feel around or that cheekbone you'll be able to feel it right away and we're just gonna go right underneath it so you can also hold up your brush with the other end and do this little trick here where you start at the tip of your ear and hold your brush down kind of in a diagonal angle that is gonna be where you want to contour is right in this area here and you're going to do the same on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now with using this color in the palette. You're going to definitely want to make sure that you tap off any excess. It's always easier to build up than take away. And we're just going to the light hand go in. And we're going to blend this out later with a beauty blender. Okay, so as you can see, very harsh lines, but I'm doing it more dramatic. That way you guys can see where you need to put the product. And we're going to go ahead and go in on the other side as well. Okay, so now that you have your points on either side, we're going to go in and do our temples. Now, if you don't know where your temples are, they are located right in this region. You can actually kind of put your teeth together and like you're smiling or doing like a ah, like an angry face and you can actually feel your temples which are like right in this area here. So you're going to want to go in and also contour in this area. And what I like to do is normally right in this area kind of connect the two. So you're kind of almost doing this little backwards C shape. And we're going to go ahead and also do it on the other side. And then with the leftover product, I normally like to go up into my hairline. Now you don't have to do that step, that's optional. I just prefer to do this. And then you're going to want to take it down into your jawline as well, which is this area here in case you don't know. I'm sure that many of you guys do, but I'm going to throw it out there just in case. So then you're going to want to go down into that area as well. And then we are also going to go into the neck starting on this side then on this side and straight down the middle now this is where you could technically do your nose which if you really wanted to you're going to go on either side of your nose creating a line and then right here at the very tip you're going to come in and create a v shape and then you would blend it out. I like the way that my nose personally looks and I don't want to make it look 
um, smaller, that um, would be the reason why you contour your nose in the first place if you want it to look smaller, but because I don't, um, I'm just going to obviously leave my nose as it is. So then you're going to want to blend this out because obviously you don't want these harsh lines. So I'm just going to start blending out with my beauty blender. And as you can see, the way that you've applied it is going to be the way that you want to go in strokes. You can also, um, with your cheekbones, go downwards. You don't want to go upwards though because it's just going to look funny. I normally like um, kind of doing this pulling effect as if I was drawing it back into my hairline here and then I like to also work it downwards. And you're going to have to um, kind of just play with it and blend. Um, each time is going to be different depending on how much product you have applied to your face. And you don't want it to be like this crazy visible like streak. You just want a little bit as you guys can see. So this is this side blended out and then you can see the harshness on this side. And I haven't even gone up to the temple on this side yet. Um, okay, so this is inside that has been nicely blended out and then we have the harshness. Now you guys can totally see the difference between the two, um, but it does make my face look um, a little bit more sunk in and has brought out that cheek bone. So I'm going to go ahead and start blending this side. Alright guys, and there you have it. That is how you contour it very very simple thing to do if you just know the steps um, so I hope that this video was helpful and that um, you can take these tips and apply them to your everyday um, makeup routine alright guys I will see you in my next video please make sure to comment rate, and subscribe bye until next time